Hi, my name's Chris, and uh, recently I've been searching around on YouTube, and I've been looking at some GarageBand tutorials, and I've noticed that a lot of you people are really wondering how to create your own beats, when really all people are showing you is how to drag and drop loops. So today, uh, I would like to show you guys how to create your own beats on GarageBand, and uh, hopefully my tips can be useful. So let's begin. So first things first, what I've done was opened up a new uh, file and I've cleared it out and basically I'm just going to start from scratch. So the first thing you want to do is click on track and you want to add a new track in there. So you're going to click on software instrument because we're going to use the pre-made sounds that are already in GarageBand. So we'll go to create track and as you can see it says grand piano. If you go over to the right of the screen, you'll see a whole bunch of different things, including bass, drum kits, guitars, horns, etc. What we're going to do here is we're going to pick drum kits, and let's go to, say, a hip-hop kit. So now, we have a hip-hop kit up here, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go up top to Window, and we're going to go to Musical Typing. Now, in musical typing, this keyboard will pop up on your screen, and if you use your computer keys, you can actually see that your computer keyboard becomes an actual keyboard. Now, by using the Z key or the X key, you can change your sound effects. So we have a bongo, all sorts of different stuff. So right now, we're going to look for a beat and a snare and a little hi-hat. So next step, is to go up to control you want to make sure that you have your metronome clicked on and we also want to click on count in this will give us a nice count in for the beginning now what we're going to be doing is playing a freehand beat so what I suggest right off the bat is to go to your tempo and rather than starting at a, a very fast tempo we're going to want to drag this tempo down to depending on your uh, rhythm we'll just start with an 80 and now what we're going to do is we're going to press record, it's going to count us in, and we're going to start recording a beat using our keyboard. So right there, we've recorded a very small sample, and uh, Basically, with the 80 tempo, it sounds like this. Turn that up. Now what you can do is actually raise your tempo to whatever you want now. So if you want that to be a much faster beat, we'll raise that to a 140 tempo, and we'll have something like this. So that's that. So now what we'll do is, uh, because that's kind of a boring beat, we will add another track. So what you want to do is just go to Track and go to Duplicate Track, and this saves all the other steps. So we're just going to duplicate a hip-hop track again. We'll bring our tempo back down to 80, strictly for recording purposes. And let's see what else we can put in here. Okay, so there we have some bongo drums, so let's try putting some bongo drums in there. So we'll stick with that, and then repeat this process. Let's bring it back up to, say, 140, and see how that beat sounds. So now we have uh, some fast bongos in there, and we have a beat. And we'll just do the same thing again. We'll go to track, we'll go to duplicate track, and we'll fish around for some more instruments in here, some more sound effects. So, uh, there we go. Let's try that one. So we'll bring the tempo back down to 80 again for recording purposes. And let's throw this neat little sound in there.
So now we have that sound effect in there. Again, we'll repeat, go back up to 140 tempo, and let's see how that sounds. Now another thing you'll want to do when you're creating beats, or just music in general, is you'll want to use the panning from left to right. And this essentially separates your tracks uh, from your right speaker and your left speaker, so it doesn't sound like a big mess of music. So let's put our new kind of bassy beat over to the right, and we'll put our bongo drums over kind of to the far left, and this will give us a, a more defined instrument sound. Now it might be hard to tell from a digital camera, a video camera, but uh, that actually made a difference from here. Now what is a beat without some bass? So now what we're going to do, and rather than duplicating a track, we're going to go to new track again, and we'll click on software instrument, and we'll go back over to the right hand side, we'll go to bass, and I found that a neat uh, kind of beat bass is a sub synth bass. Now I have an older version of GarageBand so there are much more samples out there that you can grab that I unfortunately don't have. So we have a nice deep bass sound going on. So I'm going to bring it back down to an 80 tempo for recording purposes again and we'll throw some bass in there. Let's see what we can come up with. So now we've added some bass, and we're going to put that back up to 140, and see how that sounds. And there you go. So now we have a, a pretty groovy beat going on, and if you want to expand all of this, all you have to do is left click, hold it down, you want to highlight everything, press command C, which will copy it, and then just basically put your, uh, your line at the end of the sample and paste that right there, and you can literally just keep pasting as long as you want, and these should mesh together. And there you go. So let's try one more track and then we'll complete this tutorial. So again, new track. We'll do software instrument. And what's a cool beat without some strings? So let's grab some strings and we'll use the orchestra strings or orchestral strings. And let's try panning these over to the left just to separate. So now we've got deep. Now if you want to go down to the keyboard again here, uh, Z and X will also do different octaves. So right now we have a low, um, I'll use S, that's a D. We have a low D. Press X, higher, X, higher, Z, lower, lower. So let's try one that's kind of right in the middle here. And let's just have a warm up with it and see what we can come up with. pretty cheesy but you get the idea so we'll just bring this back down to 80 in tempo and we'll record that done is stopped it at the end of the first loop and what we'll do is we'll just again copy and paste that to fill that out go back to 140 see how that sounds that's yeah, a little loud and we can even mess around with it right bring it down to uh, 100 tempo see what kind of vibe that beat has